All right. Well, so today we're just going to kind of give you a broad overview of what the OpenStack Upstream Institute is. We actually held it before the summit started, so just this last weekend. Um, but to talk about what it is, Ildiko, would you like to? Yes, Ildiko would like to talk about what the OpenStack Upstream Institute is, uh, which is basically uh, a training uh, that we are holding prior to each and every OpenStack Summit for like three years now. Uh, we would like to teach uh, everyone who's interested in participating in our community that how to do that. Um, an important information, uh, which I think causes confusions sometimes, that this training and this class is not just for code contributors. So uh, we would like to uh, involve everyone who's interested in looking into what this community does. And uh, we would like to um, kind of share information with people uh, about the different forms of uh, how to participate uh, and be on code that can be like documentation or running user groups, participating in working groups, and so forth. Um, and in the training itself, uh, we are talking about various things like how our governance model looks like, what events we had, what tools we are using, uh, what ways of communication we have. So we are trying to give an overview uh, to the attendees of the training uh, about how this community operates um, and with this we would like to kind of give the first steps uh, to come join and participate so how we do this basically we have it formatted to be a day and a half so we actually start with a half day uh, on Saturday and then we have all day on Sunday before the summit starts um, we're working on developing an abridged version, so like something shorter down to a day or maybe even a half a day to include at the OpenStack Days events when we're invited by the trainers and organizers of those um, so that it can reach more people than just those that are able to attend the summit. Um, the format is kind of small lectures interleaved with uh, exercises that we have, and we're trying to move more towards this problem-based learning so that it's more engaging for the students and they get more real sort of experience with how to interact as a community and work in a group and go and find the answers that they need um, to be productive. So, who does it? So the, the training itself is uh, organized by the foundation when it comes to the menu, uh, the venue <laughs> and the menu as well. So uh, <laughs> uh, we are doing the administrative uh, work, but uh, when it comes to the training material, uh, the trainers and mentors in the room, that's all pure community effort. So here we would like to encourage uh, all of you uh, who are part of this community already to consider whether you would like to um, come and participate in this activity because, for example, this is uh, one of the ways of um, contributing to OpenStack. Um, we also building a liaison program, uh, so we are trying to um, have representatives and the people who are keeping an eye on what we are doing from each and every project team. And this way, we would like to ensure that we have people in the in the classroom uh, to help students who are interested in uh, specific areas and, and projects. Um, so we are kind of building a team, an Upstream Institute team, uh, and it is all pure open community effort. Please join. And the question, is this thing for me? Yes, everyone should attend the upstream training. Whether you're like an operator or if you're a manager, it's really good to have a general idea of how the community functions and works and how code is merged and just kind of the processes behind what makes the community. And so we really encourage everyone, even like we've had PTLs come back and come to the training just to kind of, you know, get reacquainted with everything and kind of have a reality check. So we really, really encourage everyone from students that don't really know anything about OpenStack to established developers come. So how can I get involved? Ildiko, tell us. 
So uh, our team uh, operates in a very similar way how uh, the other project teams in OpenStack. We have an IRC channel which is pretty active and we have pretty cool conversation over there about the training, uh, about how to do mentoring or uh, how, to, how to teach students. Um, the name is OpenStack-Upstream-Institute. Please come and join and see what's going on there. Uh, we are also encouraging uh, our mentors and trainers um, and everyone in the community who's helping out uh, to us to join the OpenStack-101 channel, uh, which we are um, introducing to students. Uh, this is where, for example, our training is running. Um, as uh, students might show up later and ask questions because they are still confused with uh, what and where and how to do exactly. Uh, so this is also a channel where we are kind of collaborating and helping students. We are having weekly meetings. Currently, these are Mondays, uh, 2000 UTC on OpenStack-Meeting-3. Although we will look into how to be, let's say, more open and inclusive because this time slot is really, really bad for people in the age uh, time zones. Um, therefore, we will look into either having alternating uh, meeting slots or alternating ways of communicating, like putting more emphasis on IRC or the mailing list, where we have a tag that we are using os-offstream-institute, so please filter to that tag if you're interested. Um, you can find uh, the meeting details on the Etherpad on this slide and uh, the repository where we are um, storing our source files for the slides and materials and exercises is called Training Guides, so you can find the material there. And if you would like to see the rendered version just to get an idea of how the class and course looks like, that's on uh, docs.openstack.org uh, slash upstream dash training. So you will, you will see there um, all the material that we use, for example, the weekend before this summit, and hopefully you will get motivated and enthusiastic and join us and participate. And uh, these are us. You can find us on Twitter and IRC and everywhere all the time. Please yeah. reach out to us if you have any questions uh, about the training if you, or if you know anyone who would like to join as a student or if you and if you know anyone who would like to join as a mentor or trainer, please reach out to us. We are happy to help. Yeah. Does anybody have questions? Uh, uh, Persia. Yeah. yeah, so. Right, so putting an emphasis on the communication that it happens before the summit, basically. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that we were even just talking about before this session started. We had a kind of post-mortem on what went well and what we need to work on, and communicating that it does take place the weekend before and not during the summit is something that we need to work on, definitely. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So doing a bundle, maybe? A Having a bundle that includes hotels for the days before the summit so that you can make it. Yeah, that's a, another really good idea. Um, Covering ironic. So um, for actually at the, the Upstream Institute, we do try to get representatives from each project to talk and answer questions. And then on the, towards the end of the training, the like last half of the last day, we... Um, get, uh, we do like smaller deep dives and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, the training itself is purely about how to contribute to OpenStack. And uh, when we um, put out the information and the RSVP form where you can register to the training, we ask the students that which area they are interested in. And 
if you specify ironic there, then we cannot 100% guarantee that we will have someone in the room from ironic, but uh, that way we have an indication that you or, and I don't know how many other students are interested in that area, and we will, in that way, we are doing everything to be able to cover your area. So this way we are trying to uh, put some focus on to cover specific projects if we have, especially if we have higher uh, interest in it. Also, after like towards the end of this, we made special note of the project onboarding rooms to make people aware that those were going to be happening. I think Ironic hit a room. No, yes, somebody says. <laughs> They didn't? Okay. Well, so the way we set up the onboarding rooms was we kind of, we went and looked at the, the smaller projects first, like which ones really need help with like getting more contributors. And we gave them priority in the slots before we started reaching out to the bigger ones. And so um, for next time, since they were pretty popular, we'll probably accommodate more projects and hopefully be able to get one for Ironic next time. Yeah. Anybody else? Silence. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So all of the slides are like available. You can look at them at any point in time. We're like constantly changing them and updating them, but the information is out there for you to look at. That's the URL she mentioned. It's docs.openstack.org uh, slash upstream dash training. And we also have a uh, how to contribute guide, so it's on wiki.openstack.org. Uh, so if you kind of try to use the, the two in combination with the exercises, you can kind of practice. We have sandbox projects and repositories, so for the tracking tools, you will find a sandbox project in uh, Launchpad, also in Storyboard. Um, we also have a sandbox repository where you can kind of practice how to upload a patch to Garrett, how it looks like, how to do code review, uh, how the, the user interface looks like. So if you kind of try to combine the information that's written in the how to contribute guide with trying to exercise, uh, I think that's a good combination. And then after that, you always have the chance to either pop by on the OpenStack-101 IRC channel, or if you have more specific project-related questions, then just look up the IRC channel of the project and just jump on and ask questions there and people will help you. Do we have any more questions? Nope. All right, then thank you for attending Thursday last break before the summit ends. Yeah. So we hope that you enjoyed the event and hope to see you again soon on upcoming OpenSec events. <laughs>